Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, there is a story that was published yesterday by the nation, indicating that when William Samuel Ruto was launching his manifesto, he hint on initiating prosecution of President Uhuru Kenyatta just in case he win this August general election. Now, this story has caused a lot of panic to William Samuel Ruto as an individual. It has also caused a lot of panic to Kenya Kwanza coalition and even UDA party. To an extent, Ruto has been pushed to a corner to use the whole of today trying to explain himself. <laughs> and at the same time, the same story has become fodder for the Azimio side. Like if you see the reaction from Joho to this story, in reference to William Samuel Ruto and the comparison to President Uru Kenyatta, who should be prosecuted? Because according to Joho, William Samuel Ruto has a lot of questionable stories to do with corruption, unlike President Uhuru Kenyatta. So I want us to go through that story, then the reaction from Kenya Kwanza, and the response from William Samuel Ruto, and at the end, we are also going to give our views what it means to William Samuel Ruto and the Kenya Kwanza side. Now, this is the story with the headline William Ruto hint at initiating Uhuru's prosecution if he win August 9th pool. Deputy President William Ruto has vowed to form judiciary team to investigate action and the policies of President Uhuru Kenyatta if we win the August 9th election in what he elicited sharp reaction from Jubilee. Mr. Ruto is also gearing up to reverse a number of Mr. Kenyatta's policies if elected even indicating that they will not fear going after the, pres the president once he leaves office. In the Kenya Kwanza manifesto that was launched on Thursday night, Mr. Ruto said if Kenyatta, if Kenya Kwanza win next month, they will form an inquiry into state capture and a tribunal on enforced on enforced disappearance and a violation of human rights. What could be potentially means going after the president and how he ran the government. He also voted to create high tribunal, task force and a review panel to, re to reverse Mr. Kenyatta policies. Under the ending state capture subtopic, Mr. Ruto promised to establish within 30 days a quash judiciary public inquiry as establish the intent of chronism and the state capture in the nation and the make recommendation. Now, I want to listen shortly to Governor Joe. Then after that, listen to Ruto and we want to continue this conversation. Kama watafta mtu ya kushika, anza kujishika wewe mwenyewe. Taifa hii hayajawahi kuona mwizi kama William Samoy Ruto. Na wameenda kutengeneza basi kubwa naitwa UDA. Dereva mwizi. Kondakta mwizi. Sisi hatuna fita na mtu yeyote. Nyinyi mnanielewa? Na kwanza uhuru Kenyatta sisi ndio tutamwangalia akienda nyumbani na tutahakikisha kwamba amepumzika sawa sawa. Ndio aone vile tutasukuma hii nji kweli kweli. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Ni kweli ama si kweli? Na nataka nimwambie rafiki yangu rais, usikuwe na wasiwasi na ile manifesto nime launch. Don't worry my friend, I will make sure this country goes forward. You know the capacity I have. Now, definitely the information people have outside here today is that if William Ruto will win this election, definitely he is going to initiate the prosecution of President Uhuru Kenyatta. That's what people are sharing. And therefore, we want to use this opportunity to understand what this information means for William Samuel Ruto as far as Mount Kenya region politics is concerned. 
and winning those votes. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, if this story was not true, then William Ruto will not be wasting his time to react or respond to the story. But because Ruto is responding to this, and if you look at William Samuel Ruto, he's not happy with this story. You can see the anger in his face. That tells you that there is some truth in this story. And Ruto has panicked on how the nation has brought this story and how Azmiyo side are using this story as fodder to deal with the issue of William Samuel Ruto. Ruto is angry because he knows where his votes belong. Because he is depending to get votes from Mount Kenya region. And because this story has targeted the people of Mount Kenya region where President Uru Kenyatta is coming from, Ruto is panicked. Remember when there was the ICC case, the people of Mount Kenya region were voting for President Uru Kenyatta because they wanted to protect him from being jailed by the ISIS. The reason why Uhuru was voted for in 2013, it was to protect him. Because these people knew that if Raila get to power, they were informed that Raila is going to take Uhuru to ISIS to be prosecuted. The same thing the Kalenjin were doing to William Ruto. They voted for Ruto because they were protecting him against ICC case. Because they, for them, you know, they, they were told that if Raila wins, then Ruto will be surrendered to ISIS. That's the only thing that made Uhuru and William Ruto to win Rift Valley and the Mount Kenya region for. Today, there is an information that Ruto is going to prosecute Uhuru Kenyatta in case he win this election. So, what comes to your mind if you are trying to link that story of ICC to what Ruto now has talked about? The truth of the matter is that William Samuel Ruto made a big blunder and he is regretting in as much, yes, we have some people in Mount Kenya who will just vote for root. But there is a big constituency that will feel that it is also another right time to protect one of us. Because Ruto is threatening to prosecute him. The same way they protected Uhuru in 2013, some of these people are going to come out in large numbers to protect Uhuru Kenyatta while he goes to Retirement. That is one thing Ruto has realized. And that's a mistake Ruto did. He should have avoided to bring in the name of President Uru Kenyatta. In fact, Ruto has gone to an extent to say that in this election, he is running against his boss. He said even he's competing with President Uru Kenyatta and not Raila Molo Dink. So because of that, you see, he has put more of his focus on President Uru Kenyatta and not Raila Amolo Denga. And because of opening more wars, now he has problem because, again, he has to fight this wars. So on one side, he has now given fodder to the Kenya, to the Azimio La Umoja side. Because now they will start questioning the corruption cases and the scandals that have been tagged to the deputy president. And there are so many. Remember, the Azimio side successfully managed to 
tag uh, William Samoe Ruto to corruption. To an extent, they have made so many people to believe that the most corrupt individual and the person who have grabbed a lot of properties in this country, it is William Samoe Ruto. That's what people believe. And that's even what small children know. <laughs> to an extent, Ukiyaka Mroto Hapo Muleza between Raila and William Samoe Ruto, who is the most corrupt individual, they will easily point at the deputy president. So that tells you that in as much Ruto is pointing a finger to President Uru Kenyatta, there is another four fingers pointing at him. <laughs> now, the Azimio side, using Mother Karua, they have a story to explain to the people of Mount Kenya region why they should not vote for William Samuel Ruto, because he's fighting one of their own. That means, in case Ruto gets to power, he's going to fight the people of Mount Kenya region, rather than protecting them. When really they were voting for them in 2013 to protect them. <laughs> that the story. The same story has now pushed William Samuel Ruto to a corner. Now see how it is working against William Ruto. Today, instead of Ruto campaigning and selling his agenda, it has taken him the whole day in all stopovers he, are, he has made today to explain himself what he mean and why and how he will not prosecute President Uru Kenyatta. In fact, now, this story has put William Samuel Ruto on defense position. And every time Ruto has found himself defending himself rather than putting himself in a good position to strike. <laughs> so today Ruto is explaining how he will take care of President Uru Kenyatta, how Uru will, will, will stay in peace after retirement, rather than selling his manifesto to the people. So look at that. Yeah. Ruto was supposed to wait until Uhuru retire if he has any issue to ask about President Uru Kenyatta, he can do that after that. But by trying to indicate what he can do as early as this, it is giving President Uru Kenyatta more chance to use every means possible to lock out, to lock out William Samuel Ruto from winning this election. So Uhuru will not sleep also. He will use every means possible and the resources available to make sure that he's fighting William Samuel Ruto at an advantage of Raila Amolo Dinga to win this election. Because seemingly, Raila is harmless to President Uru Kenyatta. But what is emerging is that William Samuel Ruto is more of a person who can cause harm to the president in case he wins this election. That means Ruto can revenge the situation which he has passed through in the hands of President Uhuru Kenyatta. So I don't know what to think about this, but the possibilities of v people of Mount Kenya region voting against William Samuel Ruto in the protection of President Uru Kenyatta by going to the mother Karua Raila Mwondinga side is there. Let us meet in the comment section to have a coordination of this conversation.